Welcome to the Knox video training series. In this video, you'll learn how to get started with the Knox Managed Service Provider Portal, or simply known as the Knox MSP Portal. We'll show you how to get access to the Knox MSP Portal, how to add and manage customers, devices, and licenses, and how to use the Profiles feature to easily copy Knox Configure profiles from one customer to another. Let's get started. Before you can use the Knox MSP portal, you'll need to first enroll in the Knox Partner Program or KPP as a managed service provider. To do this, go to partner.samsungnox.com forward slash MSP, then click become a partner in the top right to begin the enrollment process. Once you provide your work email and follow the instructions on screen, a Samsung Knox portal admin will review and approve your application. When approved, you'll be able to launch the Knox MSP portal the next time you sign into the KPP. After enrollment, you'll need to obtain Knox customer IDs from any existing Knox customers that you want to manage. You'll then need to purchase licenses for any Knox cloud services that you want to manage on behalf of the customer. Let's sign into the KPP and launch the Knox MSP portal from the left navigation menu. By default, you'll land on the Knox MSP portal's dashboard. This page lets you quickly review event notifications from your managed customers. In the main customer portal notifications area, you can easily view the type of event, a brief description of the event, and which customers are impacted. If you click the notification icon, you'll see important system events not specifically related to a managed customer. Here you'll find notifications about license errors, profile management, new customer additions, and more. You can configure these system notifications at any time by going to the settings menu found under your profile icon in the top right. Let's move to the customers page. Here you'll be able to add, delete, and manage your customers. To add a new or existing Knox customer to the Knox MSP portal, click Add Customer. If you have an existing Knox customer, enter their Knox customer ID in the search bar and click Lookup. Once the customer ID is identified, click Request to Add. An email is sent to the customer's current administrator informing them that a Knox MSP would like to manage devices and services on behalf of the customer. Once they accept the invitation, the existing Knox customer will appear in your main customer list. If you are creating an account for a new customer, fill out the Add Customer form with the appropriate company and contact information. In the Customer Management Type field, select Fully Managed Customer if you want to take full control of the customer's devices and services or select Jointly Managed Customer if you want to allow the customer to manage their own devices and services along with you. In the Services section, select the Knox Cloud service that you want to manage for this customer. Once you are done with the form, click Add Customer to complete the process. To make changes to a managed customer, such as changing the company address, contact email, management type, or the services managed, or to delink the customer from the Knox MSP portal, click the customer's name, then click Manage Account. If you want to stop managing a customer account, you can initiate a D-Link request from the Knox MSP console. The customer will receive a D-Link request email and must accept the request for the action to take effect. Once the D-Link is complete, you will no longer be able to access any of the customer's data or services. Note that the D-Link feature only works for jointly managed customers. If you are fully managing a customer, you'll first need to change your management type on this page to jointly managed. Let's move over to the devices page. Here you can control which devices go to which fully managed customers without having to rely on resellers to match up the correct IMEI numbers with the corresponding customers. As a Knox MSP, you can simply ask your resellers to upload all devices to your portal. Then you can easily move devices between customers as you see fit. To do this, first provide your MSP ID to your reseller. If your reseller uploads any devices using this MSP ID, you'll find them in the Uploads tab. For any pending uploads in the list, click View, 
Then click Approve All Devices. These devices will move to the main pool in the Devices tab. From the main device list, select the ones that you want to move to your customer, then go to Actions and select Move Devices to Customer. In the pop-up window, select the fully managed customer that you want to move the devices to, then click Confirm. The devices will now be available on the customer's Knox admin portal. Let's switch over to the licenses page. As a Knox MSP, you can purchase licenses for the various Knox cloud services that you're going to manage on behalf of a customer. The way licenses are managed by a Knox MSP differs slightly depending on the customer type. When you have fully managed customers, you take full control of their devices, services, and licenses. Any Knox cloud service licenses that you purchase are yours to assign and distribute to these customers as you see fit. This means you can share a single license key between multiple fully managed customers if enough seats are available. When you have a jointly managed customer, you and your customer both have control over devices and services. However, when it comes to licenses, you can only purchase or assign licenses from the customer's service portal and not from the MSP portal directly. To obtain a license for your fully managed customers, go to Actions, then select Get a License from the drop-down menu. From the Trial License list, select the services that you want a license for, then click Generate Trial License. With a trial license, you can enroll up to 30 devices in any Knox Cloud service for up to three months. This lets you test out a service and fully utilize its features and capabilities before committing to a full commercial license. Once the trial license is generated, it'll appear in the list within the Fully Managed Customers tab. To assign the license to one or more fully managed customers, click the license name, then click Assign to another customer. Moving over to their Profiles page, as an MSP, you might want to use the same device configuration for many of your managed customers, especially if they have the same device models and use the same Knox Cloud services. Rather than manually creating the exact same Knox Configure profile for each managed customer, you can instead copy one or more profiles from one or more customers and apply it to multiple other customers with just a few simple clicks. To do this, go to the Copyable Profiles tab, select the profile from the list, then click Actions, then Copy to Customers. In the next page, select the customer names that you want to copy the profiles to, then click Next, then click Create Profiles to confirm. Back on the Knox Configure Profiles tab, you can find the profiles you just copied, as well as every other profile created in your customer's Knox Configure console. This concludes our walkthrough for getting started on the Knox MSP portal. As an official Samsung Knox Managed Service Provider, you now have access to tools and features to help add value to your service offerings and meet the evolving business needs of your customers. For more information on Knox MSP or on getting started with other Knox services, please visit docs.samsungnox.com. Thanks for watching.